I'm home court, you stand in trial. Why ain't I see you around by when? Wow. And I got my first series regular less than a year after I got in the industry. Wow, which was? Good news. Good news. Now, who was on that show? And what David Ramsey, that was on UPN. That was when okay. we should just go to UPN and everybody worked all the time. Yeah, I remember you. You didn't ever not work. Mm -hmm. Whether you were series regular or guest star or recurring or show hopping, it was constant. Mm -hmm. we, we, you just could go to work. Mm -hmm. It wasn't like it is now. Um, but yeah, I, uh, it was good news and David Ramsey was on there and mm -hmm. Guy Tory and mm -hmm. uh, Tracy Sherelle Jones. We're all still friends. Okay. And that was my first series regular and that was the first time that I was like, so you want me to do this TV show mm -hmm. from Monday to Friday. Usually on Monday, we just did the table read and everybody would eat the really good food and go home. I was home by 10 o'clock in the, in the morning. Mm -hmm. The only long days were Thursday and Friday. And I was like, you gonna pay me $16,000 a week <laughs> to do this? I'm in. Wow. <laughs> and that was a low paycheck. At right, the time. right. That was my right, first series. Run. Right. <laughs> so I was like, oh, I, I, I can, I, I'm doing can do that. what I'm doing. And so yeah. that went on for how many seasons did you get out of that? No, we only did two seasons. And that was okay. because we were actually the number one show on UPN. Mm -hmm. But Ed Weinberger, our EP, who is still around, and he, he's the one that created Mary Tyler Moore and Taxi and all those classic shows. And Amen. Mm -hmm. We were, I Good News Amen. was a young version of Amen. Same thing, yeah. set in a church, yeah. pastor. I still love that. Yeah, so mm -hmm. you've never seen my show, Good News, I I remember it. I don't think that mm -hmm. I ever watched it. Mm -hmm. But I do remember it, though. Okay. Well, yeah, we'll I wouldn't. That. Cause, I Good mean, news was awesome. Yeah, I was really young at the time. Mm, not that so, young. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you got about one more young than you. And no, then but have to arm wrestle for this one. Nah, I do. I do remember the show though. It I was do. a good show. Yeah. He, but he was, um, he was, he was Hollywood royalty. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the next season, UPN, um, the president changed mm -hmm. um, to somebody that was that did not like Ed because apparently. 25 years before that day, he was Ed Weinberger's intern. Mm -hmm. And Ed pushed his desk out onto the street. Ed was a yeller. Mm -hmm. He was, he just, it is what he was. Mm -hmm. That's what he did. He would scream and shout at everybody and mm -hmm. he didn't care, you know. Um, but people respected him. Mm -hmm. And he yelled at him and he pushed his desk onto the street. Wow. And obviously he quit. Okay. And Ed said, basically, fuck you. Please don't ever come back. Yeah. 25 years later, he canceled our show and Good News in one fell swoop as soon as he became president. Not because we weren't great. We were yeah. the number one and two show. Ed had Sparks and Good News. Number I remember one and Sparks. number two show. And he took him away. Sparks was what's Nunez? Was that? Miguel. Miguel. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And, and, um, and Terrence Howard. Yes, I remember that. Because I was doing episode, we would also go back and forth because they were mm -hmm. sister shows, obviously. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we would do guest stars on each other's show. And the upfronts, that's when you, they're announcing the new shows that mm -hmm. are coming out. We knew we were, we were the number one show. How are we mm -hmm. not coming back? So we were all packing our bags. And usually you hear if you're not picked up again months before the upfront so mm -hmm. you can just go get another job. They'll release you from your contract and you can go get another job for the actors. Mm -hmm. We weren't told that. Ed wasn't told that. They w he waited until the night before. Ed was already in New York. Yeah. Our tickets are as a cast were booked to go to New York to do press. Mm -hmm. And we were called and said, oh, yeah, by the way, you're not coming back. Damn. And he told Ed in the press conference in front of everyone. Damn. So he waited. He held on to that grudge for 25 years. years. Damn. And Ed knew what time it was. He knew that. I, I think he was caught off guard. He wouldn't have been in New York. He didn't really. Know. Mm -mm. But once he did it, he knew what it was about. Oh, 100% yeah. he knew what it was about. Wow. How did Ed respond to that? Uh, I don't know. We okay. didn't. We were done. Okay. So we all went on, went on other shows. Wow. Wow.